December 22, 2002, Christmas 2002. God is with us. This is what we celebrate at Christmas. When I hear that proclamation, I am reminded of Metropolitan Archbishop Judson of blessed memory. I don't know any bishop who used his own motto more than Archbishop Judson. Each of his sermons and many speeches ended by reminding us of that wonderful truth. At good times and not so good times, we need to be reminded of this, coupled with the angel's greeting to the shepherds, Be not afraid. This past year we were faced with a number of frightening prospects, some of which may look a little brighter now. The economy seems to show promise of recovering. There is hope that the war with Iraq may have been averted. Steps have been taken to protect us from terrorism, but still there are no guarantees. Some things may actually look bleaker from our various perspectives. Society increasingly tolerates, indeed promotes, behavior that dehumanizes us and that will have devastating effects in future. As individuals, we may be experiencing difficulty in employment, health challenges, separation from loved ones, etc. What can we hope for? Perhaps the challenges that face us frighten us most because of their hidden nature. One can fight a foe one knows, but what about a battle with the unseen, the terrorist, the virus, the behavior and attitudes that slowly erode our moral fiber, the secret activity of the CEO that will bankrupt the company that employs us? So much of life seems hidden. The Eparchy of Parma is similarly faced with unknowns that make fulfilling our mission difficult. We are a church with a mission to proclaim the truth when society keeps coming up with easy answers. We find ourselves well established in certain communities without knowing where people entrusted to us will choose to live and work in future. We are a church that relies on our priests who, being human, have unforeseen futures as well. We are entrusted with a great spiritual heritage once closely united to a rich ethnic heritage which may or may not be embraced in the future. These hidden challenges, these uncertainties, may seem insurmountable, but then we hear the proclamation, God is with us. So many times we hear the complaint that in our churches the icon screen blocks my vision, I can't see what is happening. This actually reflects the fact that much of life is unseen and unknown. Much of God's work in our lives is unseen. Do we need to see to believe that God is with us? Recall the verse found on a wall in Cologne, Germany, following the Holocaust. I believe in the sun even when it is not shining. I believe in love even when I do not feel it. I believe in God, even when God is silent. On Christmas, God reveals his presence to us. In fact, he has been human already for nine months without our seeing. On Christmas, we read the gospel of the manifestation of the child Jesus to the Magi to celebrate that truth. God is with us to protect us, to direct us, to challenge us, and to hold us accountable. God is with us, but he usually relies on us to make his presence known. Humanity has always faced hidden dangers. Nevertheless, we have always had God with us, although at times his presence may not have been obvious. We pray that God's presence will inspire us to face the day's challenges courageously. We pray that we will be able and willing to manifest to the world a truth strong enough to conquer even the foes we do not yet know. God is with us in the person of Jesus Christ, living today in his holy church as he lived 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem. God is with us. Be not afraid.